it's Sarah and I just figured I'd turn on the camera haven't made a video in a while um busy though guys and you know I know I talk a lot and my videos are long but I figured those of you who want to listen will listen those of you who don't won't anywho I'm designing today what I want to do is a project on one of my dollar frames these are a dollar <clears throat> Most of the craft stores have these, but it's a nice plywood that I've been able to burn on, and I'm still burning, I know. Um, I'm just really loving where my creative juices are going, doing the burning. So what I did first was just trace out that shape onto some sketch paper. And I was going to, and I'm still going to, because of course it will, I've already done frames and I had one idea, but then you go to Pinterest, guys, and the inspiration just goes through the roof. So what I've been burning at the moment, let's do a quick share. <clears throat> Ever since I took the um, Mandala Madness with Barb Owen, I've been making mandalas, and you can do that on paper, no problem. Like if I were to do a video for you guys on how I make this mandala, like just make the shapes and everything, we could do it on paper. It's just that I want to take it further and make it into something that's a, a keepsake. You know, paper is just going to go in a book, and I have sketch... Um, what are they called? Art journals and stuff like that. Like, yeah, you can put it in your art journal and do it for fun. <clears throat> but these have kind of become something. I wanted to put them in my bedroom, so I'm going to be picking a few. I've, I've, each one's my baby, but anyway. And adding color is also part of me, the essence of my spirit. My art spirit wants color. So wood burning is a lot more uh, monochromatic. And where is my box that I did? Anyway, you can do these in just wood burning tones, but when I add color, it's just, it becomes mine, my design. So this was one, uh, it all started with this guy, and I, now I'm making different sizes. So I have a small one of this. Here, this was the original, 10 inch. That was the original. But then this is, I want to say a 12, let me see, yes, 12 inch mandala. And I just basically, you know, tweaked it to fit the elements and I hand drew everything um, and then painted it up. So I have that in a bigger size. Then I have, this one was a big hit on uh, my Facebook channel. You guys really liked it. I haven't made this in a bigger size yet. Um, but I just started thinking bees and bee steps. Um, I want to show you when you're designing, anything can be an inspiration. And I had these little bug, these little bug stamps. I have a ladybug. Where's the other one? Anyway, <coughs> and I don't even know if that one's the other one. But anyway, I just thought hmm a little bee and it looked kind of basic where I could easily burn that shape and then I don't know how much I tweaked it but let's see I started with that shape and I really didn't tweak it much it's basically that shape so I stamped it onto um, tracing paper and then fit it into this design and painted it and then that one came to be so I'm in love I'm sticking with the yin yang too that may be like a signature for me I'll probably have because I want to add elements of black and white to my designs as well but because that's about contrast so when you're designing we did this in art journaling a lot like when you take a class with art journaling it's the element of threes like usually you want to have th on a page you want to have three your eye just likes that there are certain things that uh when you're creating art that are kind of rules of thumb um, but the black and white having contrast is a big one and I actually really like the black and white checks that once I do the yin yang in black and white then I add the checks so I'll show you another one of those I added over here so on this one the one I had shown you earlier I have this in a smaller version 
with the butterflies, but then I did that in a bigger version as well, the 12 inch. Um, <clears throat> and it's not exact, like you can tell this, I guess, I don't know what this would be called. This round is a lot thinner this way. These are much wider, but it's the same basic idea, same basic design. I think my butterflies are the same size on both of these. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's five. So I think that circle is the same size. But I, you know, I have the black and white checks again, the black and white here. And I just threw green out there because I like to, again, repeat the colors too. So if I use a color here, like the orange and yellow, I want to bring it out. The blue, the blue. So it just kind of helps the piece flow. So this is a big one of that. Absolutely love. I'm in love with these. I can't help it, you guys. Like, I'm addicted. This is my latest piece. And this is uh, kind of a mixture of the... I love doing these night, the night sky. That kind of evolved, but I love doing that. And what else? The other thing was on the b scap one, these little heart flowers. I cha I've done them quite a bit, the heart flowers. They have different uh, petals, different leaves. Like this is the same. It's a heart flower, see? But it has different leaves. Um, so... This one has a little bit, because it fit better that way. You know, I just moved up the petals. But this is where I would be putting a B skep. This shape is where I put the B skeps, and then I fit the flower in between, but it couldn't fit. So anyway, this one just became petals. The heart flower has petals, and then I did like, I guess it's a tree of life. But I did this one first. Um... Here, this is the same exact design, but when I painted it, I put blue here, and then I tried to um, dull down the blue with white on top of it, and it just got away from me. I don't didn't like this as much, although today it, it really wasn't bothering me as much. I added a lot more white dots, too. I have white dots here, white dots, white dots, so, and white dot, yeah. So, um... And then I also changed the dragonflies because I found my Lumiere paints. These are metallic, light body metallic acrylics. And I think they're for um, fabric, actually. Yeah. Um, anyway, these colors just really spoke to me when it came to the dragonfly. Um, so I, I, And then I saw this teal and I wanted to use it, so I ended up putting him on there, too. So I'll show you the difference. This was the first design. And I, I changed my, um, I guess it's a sunflower. It's just a yellow flower. This is all whimsy, guys. It's not, um, so I did my dragonflies with the metallics. But then on this one, I added the blue to the tips of the wings. And I just love it so much. And I left the inside plain and just put a little bit of the purple metallic on the Tree of Life section there. And I just like this one a lot better. But dragonflies are one of my favorite um, <clears throat> critters. I just really, really enjoy them. One landed on my finger one time. I have a picture of me in the pool. I just really love dragonflies. But all bugs are kind of uh, special. I like bugs. I love little things. So um, ladybugs are coming soon as well. Um, <clears throat> but for today, I wanted to just step away from the mandalas. Not that I have it have grown tired yet. I still am really, really enjoying these. So these are my two latest. So I have dragonfly, bees. I want to, I need to repeat this one in a bigger version in this size. And the butterflies. I love this one too. The colors are just amazing. That's really my, what attracts me to things sometimes is the color. 
So, all right, so that's been what I've been up to. This is another one, and it's actually just um, an evolution of <clears throat> all of these designs. So I haven't gone back to this part lately, but I love the way these flowers are on the edge, but I didn't need this line. I probably already burned this line, and then I filled in with the flower, but I didn't need it because the outside of this could just have been the petals so that bothers me about this one um, here this is where I first created those uh, rose I'm sorry the um, heart flowers with the petals being the arch of this um, you know and I, I couldn't decide between the flower and the Sun and then I changed the Sun design so this one's kind of and then I put the yin yangs out here instead of in the center so it's a different you know vibe but um, I feel like I've tweaked this to be more what I go for in my designs. But for today, like I said, I want to work on something that's going to, hey buddy, that's going to go on that frame. And I found this book. This has been in my stash. I don't know. Let's see if it has a when it was written type thing. What's it called? The The... Copyright, 2001, <clears throat> so 19 years ago, possibly, and it is for glass painting with that, like, um, design studio, like, plastic paint, and, but, but what I'm looking at is the patterns, and I came across butterflies, because I was going to draw them, but now what I'm thinking of doing and there's a lot, more than one way to skin a cat, you guys, so bear with me. I am truly loving creating my own designs, but I don't always have to. By combining someone else's artwork on here, these patterns, right? I ha So basically, oh, that didn't come out. I didn't uh, get the line over here very well, okay. I know you're not going to be able to see real well, but what I'm going to do is take this piece of tracing paper because I would normally, if I'm going to do a pattern without free drawing it on the piece, which makes a lot of erasure lines and it can be really messy to the actual wood. It, it's nice if you have a pattern. So what I'm going to do is, I found these butterflies. Look, there's all types of stuff. Look at these sweet angels. But I am going to combine a few of these patterns in here. All types of flowers, roses, daisies. Oh, here they are. Okay. So these butterflies, but then there's little other bugs. See, look at that bee. OMG. Look at these fish. They really appealed to me too. And so, and birds. I saw, wait, there's a, uh, here it is, this hummingbird. So I might put this hummingbird, but he's so big. But I want to see if he'll fit in the corner. He's a little big. Um, I do have a hummingbird stamp that I could use as well. There's all types of birds in here. Different design, like uh, ways they're drawn as well. Very country. There's some chickens, ducks, fruits and veggies. I'm just looking with you guys. Um, these are like little sign things. I guess you would put these in your garden. You could put, the, well, pears. I don't know who has pears. Babies, kids. I guess I was letting somebody color in here. This even looks like a stained glass design. An actual, you know. Wow, a lot more intricate. Holy cow. That's cute. Little sunshine. Um, but those of you who know and watch my channel know that I really have a whimsical style. Yeah, look at this. This actually looks like a stained glass project, but it's actually painted on there. 
they used to sell this stuff on QVC a lot years ago like yeah around 2001 probably would be when now I could just do this all butterflies and flowers so I'm going to go to this butterfly because there's two pages of beautiful little examples I like this one a lot and because I'm going to be wood burning it um, I really like the bird house too I'm going to just do this I like this one too like this one could go right at the top of the piece or the bottom yeah it's a little bit no it's actually perfect so I think I'm gonna use this one this one looks good and maybe just pieces of like a wing coming in from the side this one would probably fit so I'm going to go ahead and trace on a few things and then I'll come back when it's actually on the piece all right this under the sea thing looks really cool but so does this birdie one but because I'm doing it on a frame it has to be kind of um, go around look at this macaw See, I really do love this dragonfly he's so cute I mean um hummingbird all right um, I'll be back all right I've already I took these out and sanded them and then I traced on my design so let me I'll put it I actually cut these two pages out of the book because it was just much easier to trace the book was like really bendy or whatever so if you look I just fit them on here you would probably be able to see it better on the piece so um I can't wait to burn it so I'm gonna be burning this tonight and I'm planning on blackening out the whole background now that I'm saying that now I could also add color but I feel like I want to try this blacked out version first so there's a big butterfly and then I made a vine that kind of there's the bee it's a big bee it's a giant bee Maybe these are just tiny or tiny butterflies. <laughs> um, and I added these flowers. They just kind of look like little dogwood flowers in between like areas where there was a blank space because I want to, like I said, I think I'm going to black out all the area around here. So we'll see how it goes. And that is how I am designing, you guys. This specific one, I mean, it's my design based on someone else's artwork. I just took this artwork, threw it together, created a pattern, and then I'm gonna burn it. All right, that's it. I just wanted to share that. Thank you so much for watching.